Okay, we're going to be looking at this old Payne furnace. This thing is probably, my guess is this thing was made in the mid-60s. Really antique. And we're just going to kind of look at how this thing works and uh, what we can do and whether we should do anything to it. Okay, now we've kind of got a close-up on this pilot assembly. Okay, the first thing I wanted to do with this thing is look at this pilot. Now, this is a standing pilot furnace. Uh, they were all standing pilot back then. That means the pilot's on all the time, and when there's a call for heat, the burners come on. Now, I want you to look close at this pilot because it tells us a lot about what can happen to pilots. Okay. You see the yellow tips. Okay, those yellow tips are telling us that there's not enough primary air. These things actually have a little mixer in there that mixes a little bit of primary air in with the gas before it comes out of the uh, uh, pilot uh, top there and the rest of the air is mixed with it as uh, the flame burns. Well, it's not getting enough because that should be a pure blue flame. It should not be uh, yellow tipped. Uh, so it's got a dirty pilot. Another thing I wanted to note about this thing, that pilot is huge. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and light this thing off. And let's see how it lights off. Okay, you can see it lit fairly well. But the left burner did not light immediately. Now let's try that again. and Watch that left burner. Okay. Uh, you can see the front part of it lights, but the back doesn't. Uh, probably every once in a while when you do this, it'll uh, delay quite a while before it ignites the back and makes a big kaboom, which makes the uh, homeowner quite nervous, especially if he sees flame rolling out the front of his furnace. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at those burners to see what's going on in there. Okay, here we can see, uh, it looks like there's quite a bit of rust. Get a little closer in there. You can see uh, uh, rust there by the pilot. And around the burner on the bottom of the uh, uh, heat exchanger. Um, so a lot of stuff have been falling off of this thing and down. This thing has not been maintained for sour apples. Uh, it's pretty poor. Uh, okay, let's take a quick look at the burners the rest of the way in. Now we've got a little better idea of what's uh, what's going on inside this old boy. Uh, like I said, not a lot of uh, care has been taken with this furnace. It's been left pretty much alone. We've got a bunch of rust on top of the burners. You can see all that crap in there. Uh, this burner here actually looks better, however, it's the one that had the delayed ignition. So um, there's problems with the burners. Uh, so far we come up with a pilot light that's kind of a turkey right there. Uh, you know with its yellow tips. Uh, we got a delayed ignition and 
uh, we got some pretty dirty burners there. Okay, we're going to begin doing some service on this. Now, I'm not actually recommending you go a long way in this furnace. These things, uh, you know, if they still work, I guess they're okay. Uh, they use more energy than the newer ones, but, you know, a new one's really expensive, too. So, uh, it's kind of the customer's uh, call on that. But as we go through this thing, we're going to be looking for some things. So, uh, I'm going to be pulling the burners out in the next video, showing you how to clean them, how to clean that pilot, uh, and how to check the heat exchanger while we're uh, fooling around there.